I'm Helena Pepper Giorgio. I'm based in Brisbane and I direct and edit video clips as well as do some film and animations. I originally got into video clip creation because I used to have a TV in my bedroom and I used to watch, we only got MTV and Sky News. So I watched MTV fairly religiously and knew a lot about music by the time I moved to Australia. When I moved here, I then became a bit obsessed with Rage and would sit up and tape it and call up the station. After that, I decided to sort of pursue the creative tendencies and studied fine art at the Queensland College of Art, where I specialised in the discipline of intermedia. And intermedia was based in sort of film and installations, um, photography, and all those sort of mediums, which I slowly started to develop and use in my art practice outside of university. Um, I also started getting involved in playing in live music around Brisbane, as well as filming and documenting bands and their live performances. I felt this was necessary because there wasn't um, a representation of live music at this stage or at this particular period. So I felt like there was people doing it with photography and I was thinking it would be great to also have, you know, the music represented on some level because sometimes recordings, as great as they are, aren't, you know, the memory that I wanted to preserve of it. So it was, yeah, that was my idea of getting into music videos. And when the band started seeing all the videos on my YouTube station, they started asking me to put together little montages of what they'd like to see as a small promo for any new singles they had coming out. And that's kind of how I started developing my practice of being a video producer. So bands that I've created music clips for here uh, in Brisbane and interstate would be artists such as Blank Realm, Thymaster, 100%, Dag, Rebel Yell, uh, Mope City, Kitchen's Floor. So uh, it's a pretty broad range. They're all different and they've all been fun and each band sort of gives me an opportunity to experiment with a new idea, technique, concept or, or narrative. So in regards to preferred methods, I'm not traditionally based in film and TV. So coming from a sort of more visual arts background, my approach probably isn't as technically skilled, but more towards the conceptual visual aspect and creating, um, uh, I guess, some sort of wonderland in post-production almost. Bands where I get to adopt many techniques, like with the Terrible Truths video, where a uh, a sort of pastiche of lots of images I collected while I was overseas in Europe and these images were all then collated and put into a library for my reference and I'd pull them all out to put into this 3D um, this 3D world I'd created that was a bunch of sort of accordion corridors that you'd go into and all these various random images would pop up and change at each sort of part of the song going in and out and turning and going up and down so um, with that I got to incorporate After Effects, 3D, um, cutting and pasting, Photoshop, so it's, it goes between a very hands-on creative media to a very computer-based um, uh, output. I guess for bands like Mope City I did a video where it was a watercolour stop motion of this letter that goes on a journey through a small pond into an ocean and a whale. And I, I like having the change up between it. I always love being able to, the tactile nature of, of the part of the videos for me. So each client that I approach or liaise with tends to, to vary. So for someone like, like a band like Thymaster, who I know fairly well, they're like close friends and they always give me a lot of liberties with their videos and they, they you know, appreciate a little bit of a sense of humor in there. So. Um, depending on who it is. So when it's someone like my friends, I'm able to do something crazy and extraordinary and they leave me to my own, their, my own devices and they then get to see themselves running through some, you know, prehistoric sort of dinosaur world that then is them running down a road being chased by a witch with trees in space. Um, and their heads might end up in a cauldron at the end of it with this witch hanging out. And 
they they seem to really enjoy this and I enjoy creating it because it, it incorporates like that humor I was talking about with the you know the Monty Python-esque type of vibe and uh, also just creating worlds like I've always loved dioramas I always love like little narratives and that allows me to sort of explore that in a very short sort of fast-paced production With other clients, however, who might have a much clearer idea of what they want, so um, maybe with someone like 100%, they wanted a hall of mirrors type of effect. It was hard to create because we had lighting with gels, then we had, you know, two cameras set up, then we had like all this, you know, smoke machine going through whilst trying not to be seen in the background of these mirrors while I'm filming, and you know, it was this crazy balance, but um, the girls were so great to work with and they had such a good idea of what they wanted to do as well that that really helped sort of propel the idea and create um, aesthetically a great visual I think at the end of it so it's like that almost crisp 80s VHS sort of feel I think so uh, and it really suits their music which is something that I'm always striving to do. Like. Dream ventures and partnerships. Let's let's shoot for the stars. I'd love to work with Yodorovsky. He's a crazy spiritual warrior. He's got some great ideas. He's a, a madman. Um, someone like that who's so like you know, exacerbated through life and, and inspiration. Like, of course, it'd be great to work with him. But then, I, my work's heading more towards a bit of an animation style at the moment. So someone like Anthony Francisco Shepard, who's done some beautiful videos for, for like Blockhead, these amazing swirling animations. It's almost like a psychedelic, you know, trip, um, but he's just got such a handle on momentum and pacing and colors. It's, he's, he's fantastic. I'd love to work with him. But then, I mean, there's also people like Merzik and Morisot who are based in France, who have this cheeky sort of sensual humor and they're like sort of flat dimensional characters but say so much with only a few lines so I guess ultimately there's lots of people in the world who I'd love to work with but I guess those three would probably be right at the top at the moment for me. So next up on the horizon I've got a couple of video clips I'm working on at the moment as well as hoping to do some animations um, in the future for fashion label Phoebe Paradise. And then the idea is that before the end of the year, I will be relocating over to Europe. The next video you're going to see is by a band called DAG. Uh, it's for the uh, single called Staying Up at Night, and it's on Bedroom Sucks Records. It's, uh, this one was a fun one to do because I had purchased a gimbal for my iPhone, so half of it is shot with, it was all one shot underneath um, a house, and it was all done one swooping movement, people running around behind me trying to get into position. And then I'd set up like um, green screens uh, as like framed windows on the walls, which I motion tracked to put in Dusty's amazing drawings and animated and he let me cut them up and move them around. And then eventually you go into one of the windows where the members of DAG are all just like wandering around in these crazy environments, headless and everything. So. Hope you enjoy staying up at night.
Media and a filmmaker. I work as a director, a DOP, camera operator and often as an editor as well. I've always loved films and I loved watching the featurettes, like the behind the scenes option of films. Um, it was just the idea of seeing how everything was created and that was just a complete obsession of mine. Um, in school I did art and I was doing more traditional things like painting and drawing um, and photography but I always knew that I wanted to make films um, and so I went on to university and studied film and television at QUT but it wasn't really until I graduated that I really was on my path. Um, I became friends with some musicians and bands in Brisbane and they were kind and brave enough to let me make their first music videos. And it just went from there and I just became obsessed with music videos and I knew that's all I wanted to do. My first creative experience was in year 12 at art school, I decided I wanted to make a film. So I pretty much just went out there and did that. Um, I'd never used a camera before, um, but I hustled my friends together really early and we went to a park and I just started filming what would become a music video that I matched to a Portishead song, I think. Um, it actually turned out really amazing, despite the fact that I was a complete novice. Um, and while it seems quite amateur in some ways, it is a source of inspiration for me when the industry seems too overwhelming or I start to doubt my own work, which is quite common, I think. Um, I go back and I watch it and it's a source of yeah, a real source of inspiration and it reminds me that I can do it and that um, even with nothing behind me, I was able to make something that I was proud of. There wasn't a key moment or time or particular piece of work that inspired me to begin creating. Um, it was more just yeah, a slow process of watching films and wanting to sort of, you know, shrink down to a miniature version and jump in the TV and sort of be a part of the world that I was watching. Um, but there was a particular person that did inspire me to begin creating. Um, Floria Sigismondi is a Canadian-born music video maker and photographer. Her style now is a bit gothic for me, but back then it was just the most inspiring thing. She's made videos for Sigur Ross and David Bowie and Leonard Cohen and The White Stripes and Marilyn Manson, and lots of people. And I remember looking at her videos and just thinking, wow, there was a woman out there in the industry that was making these incredible things. And she was a complete auteur and she just had great control and mastery over her abilities and her vision. Um, and before that, before seeing her work, I didn't really know that there was women out there in the industry making things. So it was a real source of inspiration. And I think knowing that gave me the ability to to think, yes, I can go to university and I can learn more skills and I can do my own thing out there in, as a freelancer. I've worked with an amazing bunch of bands, including Jeremy Neal, Velociraptor, Austin, Baba Ganoush, Stevie, Moses Gun Collective, and Huntley. The great thing about those bands is that they're indie musicians and they're up and coming. So there's a lot more, there's a bigger ability for collaboration and it's a lot more of a creative process between the two of us because they're just starting out and I guess so am I. Um, yeah, so I've been very lucky and it's been a great process and a great opportunity to work with all of them. My preferred methods when making a clip is to keep it small and DIY. I find that it's, it gives a better ability for spontaneity and collaboration, working with a smaller crew. Um, I, I think as I get older and I progress in my career that will change when my budgets get bigger and I can hire a bigger crew. Um, but for now it's working out really well for me and it's a process that I really enjoy. I've been lucky in the fact that I always get approached pretty regularly by bands or their management to make clips. Um, how it usually starts is they contact me either if they have their own idea for a music video or if they're wanting me to come up with something. If they have their own idea, I'll take it and I'll develop it further so it becomes something that we're both happy with um, and the best possible outcome. 
Um, if they give me free reign, I'll sit down and I'll listen to the video, sorry, I'll listen to the song many times over and over. Um, I'll usually go with my gut reaction to the song, whether that's informed by the lyrics itself or by the instrumentation, because I find that's often the most honest reaction to the song. However, I've also seen the benefit of getting a lot of ideas down on a page and sort of picking and choosing and talking to the band or talking to a filmmaking friend to choose the best possible idea. From then, I'll create a treatment document where I'll put all the information down, colour, style, everything that the band will need to read it and to understand what I mean. Um, and I'll also include links and uh, clips of other music videos to sort of inform my inspirations for the clip. Um, and once the management has approved the idea, um, we'll go from there. That's when the really fun part starts and I'll get my crew together and I'll start, yeah, making the video. My dream venture or partnership would be to work with directors Xavier Dolan and David Lynch. I find them very unique in the fact that they are making music video style visuals into feature length films. Um, and that's something that I would love to do myself as I get older. Um, I'd also like to work with um, Australian born but NYC based Megan Cullen. Um, she's a photographer and music video maker. I feel like our styles are very similar and what we find interesting is very similar. Um, I'd love to work with her because I feel like we could make something really great together. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Next up on the horizon for me, I'd like to start expanding the scale um, of my work. I think it's important not to get too comfortable and to always be challenging yourself and pushing the boundaries. So I'd like to get a bigger crew, bigger sets, bigger budgets, and whether that's contacting um, bigger Australian bands or international acts, I think, yeah, that's something really exciting that I'm aiming for. Um, I'd also like to work more in the Queensland film industry on international film sets that are currently filming here. Um, Queensland has a really booming industry at the moment and I'd really love to be a part of that and learn from people that have been working in the industry for a long time. I'd also like to start maybe making my own short film this year and combining everything that I've learnt from music videos into a narrative film. I think that'd be something really exciting to challenge myself with. 